Yo, what's up everybody out there in the Moto Stop show land? It's CJ Harris here, your host. This week we're doing something a little different. We're coming to you live from Waldo Motorsports. There's a Florida Georgia and a Florida Motocross Series race going on out here. It's going to be the last round of the Florida Motocross Series and the second to last round of the Florida Georgia Championship. We're tooling around. We're getting some in, uh, going to get some interviews from all the kids and all the riders out here. So we hope you enjoy this uh, layout of the show a little bit better, and we'll bring you a lot more entertainment as the day goes on. Stay tuned to see what we got. Yo, what's up, guys? We're out here with a local spotlight with the number 57, Too Hot, Chase Matat, another Florida rider coming at you. He's out here at the Florida Georgia Championship, partnered up with the Florida Motocross Series at Waldo Motorsports Park. Now, Chase, you went out there for some practices today. How was the track, bro? It was good. It's fun, rough. This track is uh, pretty soft now, breaks down, so it's like a real man's man's track. you got to be able to ride really good out there, finding the smooth lines. What's your favorite part about Waldo? Probably the triple at the Mount Waldo and the whoops. Ripping it through the whoops? Yeah. All right, so I know you're on the 65s wrapping up the season. Are you going to race next year on the 65s? You're already racing some on the 85s now as well. What's your plan for next year? We're planning to race next year. We're going to try to qualify for the Reddits next year if I don't. And I think we're just going to do it next year and we're going to be done with them. There you go. So you heard it right here. He's going to try to qualify next year on the 65, but already out there ripping the 85s, and he's already a front contender in the 85cc class. I think you're running, what, the 9 to 11 class? Yeah. All right, so he's riding these KTM machines, number 57. Chase, who's out here helping you? Who's uh, What sponsors you got? I know you had a long, long list of sponsors for a long time. Uh, who do you want to give thanks to? I want to give a big thanks to my papa. He helps me out. He goes to the garage every day, three hours out in the garage, working on bikes, cleaning bikes. And Pro Action, he gives me a big help. Too Fast and Megs, Gizmo Mods, KTM Power Sports, Gizmo Mods, Spaceport, FMF, Scott, Atlas, Asterix, Speed Graphics, Live Ruthless, CJ, BC Productions, HPD Graphics, um, Travis Blackburn in Mech School, he gives me a big help. Get them all? Yeah, I think. All right, so one thing we got to talk about because, uh, you know, we seen you ripping about a year ago and then you took some time off. Now, you had a leg in injury. How's the leg doing? You coming back better? I seen you ride last weekend when you were at Bosswood Creek MX, dude, and you looked the best I've ever seen you ride in your entire life. You were actually flowing out there and were straight ripping. So give us an update on the leg. What's going on there? My leg's doing good. It still gets a little bit of pain at night, but... It's, it's going it's doing a lot better. All right. Anybody else you want to give a shout out to? Um. That's okay if you don't. Not really. I don't got nobody else. All right. Well, tell everybody. Look, go to the motostopshow.com. Make sure they click subscribe and like our videos. Right. Yeah. All right. You heard it from Chase Matat. Yeah, he said. We'll see you in a little bit with the next rider. All right, another spotlight here at Waldo Motorsports. We're out here with the PV brothers. To my left, I got Elliot PV. He's going to be the older brother. Right to my right, I got Brandon PV. Going to be the younger brother. This is a whole PV racing family out here. Uh, just outside of the the picture frame there, we got mom and dad uh, that come with them to all the races. And if you wouldn't see this bike right here, this is actually what they race out there. And they're running the 250A class on on this old Elsinore. I'm just kidding. This is one of their dad's bikes, this beautiful bike, so we decided to have it out in the shot right here. Um, they're both on Kawasaki's now. They've tried a few different brands over the last few years, and they've jumped on a Kawasaki and enjoying it out here. We'll start over here with Elliot. Elliot, back out Waldo, you guys took a little break, come back out racing. It's been a few weeks now. How does it feel to be back on a bike? Uh, it feels good to be back out on the bike. Um, track's good. Um, trying to find my lines. Hmm. What's your favorite part of the track? The rollers. The back section? Yeah. What are you grabbing, third gear, fourth gear, just going wide open through there? I don't know, just pin it. I love these riders, I don't know. They just go wherever it goes and grab whatever throttle. All right, so over here with Brandon, again, uh, took some time off the bike. If I recall right, you actually broke your foot back in Daytona a few years ago, two years ago, one year ago. How long has it been? It's been about one year. Walk us through that uh, 
that accident, what happened? The wall jump at Daytona, well, earlier that day, we I was checking it up, and, well, they, I overshot it and landed in the face of the next jump and landed right in the face of it and just right there, it smacked it and just broke it. And I rolled around the next, next corner because it, it didn't make me fall, but it just broke it from the impact. But when I came around the corner, I fell down and they had to pull me off the track. And the only thing I was upset about is that they said I was broken and I couldn't lace, race Loretta's. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. It was, uh, I was there and it was a gnarly, gnarly weekend for a lot of people out there at the Daytona Amateur Supercross, um, including Brandon himself and a lot of our other friends went home or went to the hospital with some accidents. So Brandon, what do you think of the track out here today? It's pretty good. It's, it was a little wet this morning, but it's getting drier. It's really, really thick and I've been having a little bit of suspension issues. But other than that, the track's good. You guys looking forward to the race tomorrow? You guys are here for the Florida Georgia and the Florida Motocross Series. What's your favorite part about racing these local series out here? Uh, just to get out there, see all moto family, and just have fun. Just... How about you, Brandon? Well, I get to come to the track and then ride my motorcycle. <laughs> That's it. And both you guys, are, I believe, are on 2016 KX250s now? And Ellie is going to be number 753 and Brandon is number 754. So if you guys see them at the track, make sure you throw your hands up on the fence line, scream. Make sure they know you're there because that's when they go faster. They like to pin it when people are watching. So uh, who do you guys want to give thanks to for uh, helping you get to the track and, and doing everything for you? Uh, my mom, my dad. We're, it's unfortunate we're not training with, with Mr. Ronnie anymore, but I'd like to thank him to get us where we are. Absolutely. How about you, Brandon? Same thing, mom and dad and Ronnie. And those of you guys, those of you guys out there don't know, they actually trained with Ronnie West for uh, quite a bit for about a year, and then they decided to take a little break off the motorcycles, um, getting back into it. So maybe they'll get back out and train a little bit with Ronnie. But he's pretty tough on you guys, isn't he? Yeah. He, uh, I mean, he didn't create Ezra from nothing. So, I mean, Ronnie knows his stuff. Well, boys, I appreciate you guys taking the time for the Moto Stop Show. Uh, make sure you check it, check it out to all your friends. It's themotostopshow.com. You can find it on the Big Deal production page. Share it, subscribe, hit like. We got to become a big deal somehow, so we might as well use this show to do it, right? Oh, yeah. All right, thanks, guys. See ya. All right, we're out here with another rider spotlight here, the number 54, Jonathan Fitzgerald. Jonathan, buddy, how did practice go today at Walden Motorsports Park? Went really good. It was going pretty fast, wrecked a little bit, but it got the track dialed in, got some good lines for tomorrow. So, see you about the start and hopefully take a home another W. Hold on, I didn't even see that wreck. Tell us what happened. Oh, uh, high side a little bit, landed on my head, just a, another day of riding, so. So what you're saying is you're not perfect? Negative. You didn't land that high side? Nope, not on my feet this time. Oh man, I hate when that happens. Don't worry, I did it many, many of times. So uh, what's your favorite part about Waldo Motorsports? We've been coming out here for many, many years. Um, the track's kind of, you know, was a little harder, softened up. It's, I kind of like the soft track, it becomes a man's man's track, but what do you think of it? What's your take and what's your favorite part of it? I love how rough it gets because you can't get anywhere like this in Florida when you go to those big races. It gets super rough and nowhere else stays like that. So, and I really like the whoops here because nobody else really has whoops like these and just rough and just good training track. Right on, buddy. Well, you've been ripping out there. You've been putting up a lot of great results, getting some wins, um, representing really well in the Florida Georgia and the Florida Motocross Series as well as along a lot of other series out there. Who do you want to thank for putting you and giving you support and helping you get to the tracks and doing all the stuff you've been doing? Lord Jesus Christ all the way. My dad every weekend doing all this. Um, KTM for providing me with a good bike, good deals. Scott Goggles, uh, Kristen Eden for, for all the help, get her horse trailers, alias gear, uh, and, every, and Gary Buecher with the dialed in suspension. All right, so what's next on your schedule? I mean, we're wrapping up 2016 here. What does your 2017 motocross, arena cross, supercross schedule look like? Well, we're going to hit up Minio's, and then right after that, he'll hopefully go to Loretta's for the first time. So looking pretty pumped and stoked for that. Awesome. We'll be looking out for you, man. We'll definitely be cheering you on. As always, one of our favorite riders out here in the state of Florida, Jonathan Fitzgerald, the number 54. Jonathan, make sure you tell all your friends to check out our show, The Moto Stop Show. You can find it at themotostopshow.com or Big Deal Productions YouTube page. Click like, click subscribe. You want to be a big deal? Absolutely. Now you are. All right, we'll see you. Good luck, Jonathan. All right, folks, we're out here with another rider at Waldo Motorsports. I'm talking about Mason Ronek. Mason, the number 417 buddy out there on the track. Tell us how Waldo Motorsports was today. 
Uh, it was really fun, and this is one of my favorite tracks, and I like it a lot. What's your favorite part about the track? Probably the whoop sections, because those are really fun. I think uh, that's been unanimous all throughout the days. Everybody's really loved the whoop sections. It's probably because you just grab another gear, sit back, and pin it all the way through. Pretty nice whoop section out here that Walter Motorsports put on. So, uh, Mason, a pretty new rider. You've been riding for maybe a year, year and a half now. How long has it been? Uh, almost two years. Two years. You've been following the Florida Georgia Series with us uh, pretty religiously and the Florida Motocross joining up. What do you think about the series? What's your favorite part and what's, uh, what have you learned so far about riding? Uh, well, what I've learned so far is, well, I've gone to a couple of schools and they teach me a lot of new techniques on the bike and stuff. So I've gotten faster. Absolutely, you have. I mean, I remember the first time I ever seen you come out on a CRF 150R, the number 44, and you were just a beginner. You were learning how to ride. And fast forward to two years now, I mean, you're on KTM 85 now. Um, with some good luck and bad luck, your bikes got stolen, which sucks, but you came out ahead of the game, got you a newer, faster bike, and you've literally stepped up your riding ability with these schools. I mean, it's tremendous to watch you, how you've grown and how fast you have came. Who's helping you get to the racetrack? Who's helping you out here along the way? Uh, my mom, Mark, my friends and family, and Big Deal Productions, and the Moto Stop, and everyone. There you go. And speaking of Mark, uh, Mark, big help. I seen him wrenching on your bike a little earlier. We got to give him a shout out. Normally racing side by side with you, not in the same class, but he shares the same passion of motocross. Unfortunately, he's not been able to race with us, has he? No. He uh, had a big get off probably about a year ago, I guess, or eight months at least at WW. I watched the whole wreck. What did you think when he broke his femur on the track? Well, at first I saw him just like go over and his front tower was way high and I thought he was going to brake tap or something. Then he just landed like that. And I was like, oh no, not again. He broke tap his leg. That's what he broke yeah. tap. The best part, Mason, and I don't know if you know, but I'm sure somebody told you. So the owner of the track goes up to your mom and says, Miss Ronek, you know, your, your boyfriend, husband's going to this hospital. We'll help you get there and everything. And she says, my son just won the 85 class. I'm not leaving. I'll go there later. And she hung out with you all day. And you guys probably went to the, the hospital after. Is that how you remember it? Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, we're looking forward to you. How many classes are you racing tomorrow? Uh, two. Awesome. What classes are they going to be? 85 junior mini and 85 12 to 15. There you go. We look forward to cheering you on. Hope you have a good race tomorrow. Look for us on the sidelines screaming Mason Ronek, and I'll be in the tower screaming at you, go faster, or something on the microphone. But thanks for doing the interview. Make sure you tell all your friends to check out the Motostop Show. They can find it on BigDealProduction.com, BigDealProduction YouTube page, or the Motostop Show.com. Peace out.